In this video, we're gonna be talking about one of the most basic and potentially boring things that you can do on the trumpet, long tones. I believe every trumpet player would benefit from having long tones in their practice sessions, and not just as a warm up to get things feeling good before you start playing other things you care about, but actually I believe long tones are one of the most effective things we can include in our routines to develop skill in an effective way. The structure of this video is going to be talking about why long tones are important and why we should include them, my approach to including them in my own routine, and then at the end, we're gonna talk about how you would progress long tones to be able to work on more and more skill development with the same exercise. To start out, let's talk about why long tones are important to include in your routine. There's a number of skills that can easily be developed through using long tones in your practice routine. Skills such as a coordinated first attack, working on having a centered and resonant sound, working on dynamic ranges, your range in the upper register, the lower register, working on strength, working on endurance. These are all things that you can use this simple exercise to develop. The reason long tones are good good at developing those skills is because there's no technical barrier for you being able to play something at a high level. When you're playing just one note at a time, it leaves you with, do I understand this or do I not understand this? I also believe everything on the trumpet should be like a long tone, even the most technical of passages. So being able to establish in your routine how you want to sound with long tones and then gradually adding layers of difficulty over time will help you connect the ease of what it's like to play a long tone with really, really difficult material later on down the road. Next, I wanna talk about how you would incorporate long tones into your practice routine. There are many different ways to include long tones into your routine. I'm gonna share the way I started out doing it and the way that I coach or teach all of my students to start out. And that is by setting a metronome marking and you're going to play whatever note you start on for eight counts and then you're going to rest for eight counts and then go down a half step for eight counts and then rest for eight counts. And you're just gonna go with this eight on, eight off structure. I like this approach because it allows me to control many different variables over time. I could reduce the rest when I feel comfortable or I could extend the amount of time I'm holding the note. Another thing that I like about it is that at slow metronome markings, I'm holding the note longer, but I get more time to rest. And at faster metronome markings, I don't have to hold the note quite as long, but I don't get as much time to rest. So you're also able to expose yourself to different stimuli based on the metronome marking. To start out, I have my students and myself start on a middle G. So you're gonna hold that for eight counts, rest for eight counts. And then I go down chromatically all the way down to low F sharp playing eight counts, resting eight counts. After I reach the low F sharp, I'll go back to the middle G and I'll start working my way up chromatically as high as I can go while still making a great sound. When I practice long tones, I'm almost always using the Gold Method app. So I'll be working in month long segments when doing long tones. And at first my goal is just to play at about a mezzo forte dynamic. And then I want to have a beautiful coordinated attack and a resonant and centered sound on every single note. Playing long tones in this manner might seem simplistic, but I really think that if someone is struggling to play two sounds in a row that are the same, a lot of trumpet playing is gonna be very difficult. So to play one note at a time, just focusing on the release and the sound quality and getting more consistent in all these registers over time, it's just gonna make the trumpet easier on anything that you play. In this final part of the video, I wanna talk about how to progress the skills that you need on the trumpet using long tones. So after this initial one month period that I was just describing, what I would want to do after that is to think, did I reach my goal? And if I still feel I'm struggling to be as consistent as I want in this basic mezzo forte area, and this eight on, eight off structure, I would just do it again. I would commit to another month of doing it and hoping that I would see that kind of progress I'm looking for. If at any point I felt that I reached the goal that I was seeking, 
I would then begin to mess with the structure or the way that I was playing the long tones to begin to break into other skills that I wanted to develop. Here are four quick examples of how I would do that. If I wanted to develop endurance on the trumpet, instead of eight counts on, eight counts off, I would hold it for 12 counts on, eight counts off. The holding it longer would begin to challenge my ability to maintain good form and build my endurance. On the flip side, if I wanted to challenge my ability to recover, I might hold the note for eight counts and then only rest for four counts. That's gonna challenge my ability to get it off of my face and then have everything put back together and then go again, which will teach me how to do that when I'm playing repertoire. Let's say I wanted to include long tones in my routine, but I didn't wanna do it for as long of a time. I wanted to get to other things. Maybe I would hold the note for four counts, rest for four counts, you're sort of getting through it quicker, but you're still having the benefit of having them in your routine instead of just kicking them out altogether and doing other things. And finally, if I wanted to do something like develop my dynamic contrast, I might decide to play loud one day and soft another day, or maybe I would alternate between loud and soft on each individual note. There's a lot of ways you could do this, but beginning to take that mezzo forte middle ground and expand it into bigger dynamic extremes would be a very valuable way to progress your long tones over time. I feel I've really benefited from including long tones regularly in my practice sessions for the past couple of years. On the days that I don't do it, I just never feel as good and as healthy and as efficient as when I do take the time to just go through all of these long tones, making the very best and consistent sound that I can. At this point, you should now understand why long tones are valuable to include in your routine, how I incorporate them into my routine and various ways that you could think about progressing them to work on other skills. If you found this video helpful or valuable, I would appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to my channel. And we will see you in the next video.